Good day everyone and welcome to another quick tip. In this quick tip we will be talking about doing a green screen effect in the VSE using only the VSE instead of going through the whole scene selection and composite and all that kind of stuff. While that works, it's not the most um, efficient you know, in a way. Um, if you want to do just a very quick and basic green screen, then doing this method is absolutely the one you want to go with. As you can see, it does give a fairly good result. You can see that we have our shadows and it's probably um, properly transparent and all that kind of stuff. So you can see that it really, really um, looks fantastic. So I'm going to be showing you how to apply this also using, again, the same monkey footage because it has the right amount of green in it. And then I'm going to be talking about some issues that you might experience if you're using um, uh, found footage online. Okay, so let's get into it. Okay, so here I have a basic project, just wanna save it. So you have a basic project that um, I just have the, the camera fly over footage in the background, which you can see over there. And of course the, the monkeys, which are nice and green. So um, how you get rid of the um, green in this is by using masking. So what you need to do is you need to duplicate that one and we need to start going into the modifiers. Now you're going to need two U-correct modifiers and you're going to need a curve modifier. So just going to minimize these for a second and mute them as well. Okay, the first one is to isolate the green. So that means everything that's not green has to go out, has to go away, and has to be completely removed. So we're going to place this as good as we possibly can on the green, this one over here, and we're going to reduce the rest so that there is absolutely nothing except the green. You can see the result over there. So put that right there where the green starts, and of course we remove everything else. Remember this is on the value setting, not the saturation. The second one is to get rid of the saturation. So again, this one we'll be placing at the bottom because that's where there's nothing. And this one has to be kind of curved off neatly over there. So you can see now we have a black and white mask that we can use to um, remove the, the green areas. So all we need to do now is to take the curve, oh goodness, to take the curve and just invert the curve and that will give us an inverted mask. And we have to hide this mask. We just get to rename it quickly. So let's call this monkey mask. Okay, so now we go to the monkey video because we do have to have it um, visible. All you need to do is you need to set it to alpha over. And now we can add a U correct modifier and we can add a mask modifier. Now if you select your mask after you've renamed it monkey mask, you will see that we still have this green tinge to it. Now I want to get rid of that green tinge but we want to make it darker because remember this green tinge represents shadows. So instead of saturation we're going to be switching to value and we're going to be knocking out that green and making it like shadows. You will notice that it does have a slight effect on the rest of the image because we do have to slope it. But you get to decide how far you slope it, how wide you slope it. It, it all depends on the footage that you're working with. So as you can see, there we have a very, very clean green screen effect. and there's no fakery with it. You can see that there's the footage, monkeys, footage, monkeys. Now there, do, there are some issues with this method um, in the sense that depending on the format you use, um, the VSE will sometimes struggle to isolate only the green, like that really shocking green. It may dig into the codec where it has some noise and stuff and take that green as well, giving you a, a very, very imperfect mask. So you will probably need to have some sort of mask that came with the green screen footage in if that's the case. Um, but generally if you've rendered something out or you've really shot with a proper lime green green screen, 
um, that footage shouldn't be any kind of issue as you can see over here. You can also always widen some of your curves like, um, let me just get the green, where you're um, taking out the green you can always you know up this green over here and you can always broaden it out to include more shades if your green has happens to be more blue or whatever the case might be you can see that there it's made a broader effect of it so it's it's really really up to you what you want to um, achieve based on what you want to achieve and based on the footage that you're working with this can truly you know just speed up that workflow a little bit more so I hope you guys um, find this tip useful. Have a great one and God bless you.